What is up, MFers? Hope you guys are having the best day of your entire life. Picked up, uh, I didn't pick him up at all, actually. Porn side, stash. Side of the street. Side of the street, he's up there. Uh, porn stash just arrived at the house. We are embarking on a super, super long uh, one and a half day adventure. Almost two days, basically. I don't know, we're staying two nights, but we don't, we don't have a whole lot else to say. We're getting on the road right now. We're fishing this chain of lakes where I, we've been before. Super, super badass area. There's five different lakes, all different types of fishing different types of bass, musky, walleye, rough fish, spillways, fun stuff. Topwater bite, we heard the topwater bite's good and that's something that, uh, yeah, we need to get out of town to go get some good topwater bites because it has sucked around Omaha, Lincoln, Nebraska, ar around here lately. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Get out of here. We are three and a half, four hours away from home. Not not too long of a drive, but far enough away that we are, uh, we're staying the night for a couple nights. Like I said, whoa. Homeboy's getting it over there on the right. Yeah. yeah, Josh is throwing a whiz, then we are heading to the ramp. Super giant to get up here. I'm kind of re-energized. Bass fishing since I got back from Costa Rica has been really tough. We always have kind of like a early fall funk around the Midwest, and so it's going to be really nice to get up. We're further north now. There's a lot of cleaner water. There's... Well guys, here we are. We uh, made it out. This is a calm spot right here where there's no wind. Can't you tell? <laughs> uh, water's muddy, ultra windy, and I don't know. I guess we're gonna start flipping some docks and some grass. And when it's calm up there, I see a bunch of good grass, probably throw some frogs and stuff. See what happens, but regardless, we get to be on the water. Um, bluegill, there's one. Hey, I got one. What the There's hell a fish on. Happened? I haven't even tied my damn sheet on. Well, that's a good one for here too. Well, uh, four pounder, no big deal. There are fish in here. I told you there's always fish on these first dock. I fished a lot of tournaments here and that, that was one where it'd be fun to have that your second flip of the day. Got them flipping the old uh, <laughs> D-bomb. All right, it's windy. The water doesn't look very great, but uh, I'm feeling a lot better about it already. Okay. Ah, we'll get in there. Let me catch this fish first. Just kidding. Here he goes. Atta babe. Gotta get that secret jig back. The things fishermen do to catch fish and get their favorite lures back. Oh my god. I got my jig! I got my jig! See you later. You read my mind. Holy f swirl, it was a fish that came after mine. <laughs> I popped it up and he went, wee. All right, so the first several bites were in the rickety dickety docks and now we found one on the grass line. I'm gonna throw the swim jig a little bit more. Saw that one bite. Chitter chatter. On the chitter chatter, okay, okay. God, he freaking ran sideways. Oh God, something chasing him? Dude, that was, whatever's behind him was big. You should catch whatever that was. That was giant. That was a, uh, a large swirl. No wonder he hit it and took off so fast. He was taking it from his buddy or a bigger fish was chasing him. It was like a pike or something almost looked like. I don't think we can get under that. What's behind it though, dude? I want to fish what's behind that. You guys think we should fish what's behind that? You comment down below. Well, I don't think we're locking through that. It looks a little shallow, but we'll bank fish that. That looks good. I'm in. You in, porn stash? Always in. Always in. Especially when you see something chasing a 14 inch bass. Mm hmm. There we go. That's donk. That's donk stores. This is the magic dock. That looks like the one I freaking caught, dude. I don't, I don't know. You know what? I don't, I don't know, and I don't care. I'll catch him six times. I don't care. I don't care. Got the sneaky little beave on. God, those things are stout. That felt like a 13 pounder when I set the hook. All right, guys. Well, we're just about to uh, make a move here in a second. We're gonna lock through five lakes to 
get to a swampy region, but we thought we'd hit this spot. The first dock we started at, we had four bites on and then didn't catch, I don't know, caught like, had like one bite every eight docks after that. So we thought we'd come back and hit it. It paid off. All right, tip time for you guys. If you fish through an area with a lot of fish in it and then you don't catch as many fish in the other areas you fish after that, you should go back and fish that spot where you had a lot of bites. And this has been just a tip. Peckerhead. Dirty little peckerhead on the flipping bite. Well guys, so far I've been flipping docks for about an hour or so. Kind of just hitting a spot where we've been in the past. Want to see if there's any fish there. And there was, so we caught some fish flipping. Couldn't catch any on the frog. Had something giant try to eat like a 14 inch bass that I was reeling in. So that was, uh, I want to figure out what that was. That was pretty incredible. But I threw my big swim bait back in, put back in there and stuff and nothing. So uh, next step is we're going through four different lakes all the way across another lake and we're going into a swampy area. I can't see anything. Hopefully you can see anything. The sun is right in the camera lens. But uh, yeah, so we're going to a swamp area. Hopefully we'll catch some frog fish there. Maybe even some swim bait fish and potentially flipping fish. But I got a couple of new topwater baits. I want to try out on this trip some, some cool looking frogs that I just got in the mail. I think I showed some of you guys those in the last couple of videos. But I suppose we better go see if there's any fish there. Um, been good so far. What do you think, Warren Snash? Pretty sticks out? I'm hoping for a muskie, but I'll take a 10 inch bass at least. beauty that's where they're at got 72 pounds of hydrilla on the trolling motor hope we can make it through there i don't really want to turn around and go all the way back out i'll do it though yeah we might not be able to get through here i don't even know nice stick in the way there is a stick there huh see there benjamin how big is it it's large we'll just bring it with us we're taking it with Pretty large, you're right. This just turned into a survival type video, guys. We are uh, stuck like Chuck. Probably not the best thing. Holy balls, that was a big tree. Sorry about it, Mr. Tree. Well, shit, let's fish right here. This looks like a good spot. All right. What in the f fish? Must just because it looks too good. Hey Josh, have you ever seen those places where everything looks good but you can't catch a fish anywhere? I think it might be us. That's right here, I think. Oh my god, who is this guy? The last spot we hit. <laughs> it's gonna be a keeper too, because they're all keepers here. Got him shot for retread! Just about to tell you guys, we're about to go hit some smallmouth points and stuff now that the sun's going down because the flipping bite has not been doing it. Josh caught a fish. We haven't seen a fish in, I don't know, since Nam, probably. Maybe World War II. You bet. Oh, yeah off the water, um, hit up the Walmarts for some supplies. Now we're drinking out of our, our six cents koozies. Me and Porn Stash uh, just hitting things up. Wasn't the best day on the water today by any means, but really we only had a couple hours. So we're gonna be here for like a day and a half more. We kind of wanted to get here with like three hours before dark and see the different types of ways we could catch them and kind of plan the rest of our trip after that. So topwater didn't seem to be the deal that was kind of disappointing because i have a whole bunch of new topwater baits i want to test but just because it's not working one day doesn't mean it's going to not work the entire time we're here conditions look like they're going to be about the same but you never know in the morning midday we didn't really get on that bite at all it was all afternoon stuff but we got some we got some wings going now we got some burgers going over here and for a side dish we got beers i guess so that's really all that matters we got we got meats 
We got meats, meats and beer. I mean, meats and beers. What more do you want? America and stuff. America. So yeah, anyways, bite was uh, bite was tough today, tougher than we thought it'd be, but flipping was definitely the way to go. I was flipping the uh, uh, a beaver and that uh, missile baits, and then I flipped the six cents hybrid jig a little bit. And thanks to recommendation by uh, I, I told Josh, I was like, yeah, I get some hybrid jigs. He went out and got some hybrid jigs, and that's what he got all his bites on. So. We didn't whack them today, but those are the baits that caught fish. We'll link them down below so you guys can check them out and you guys can go catch fish. I mean, I don't know who doesn't want to go catch fish. And of course, use the promo code MF10 and go save yourself some money at SixCentsLures.com. SixCentsFishing.com. Sorry, I get that confused all the time. Oh, new koozies too. Who doesn't want some badass koozies? This is the coldest beer I've ever had in my entire life. Is this that coldest beer you ever had? Came straight from the Rockies into the koozie. We're gonna leave we're gonna leave these sit out for the next three days and they're still gonna be ice cold in these koozies. They are specially made six cents koozies. I I'm just kidding. They're they're they look cool though. So go get some koozies. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Me and Porn Stash will be back in the morning to catch you very, very soon and hopefully catch some slaunches. I'm not sorry I can't help this love like mine <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry I can't stop with a love like mine Love like mine